Simply put, in week three, the Dallas Cowboys are not a good football team. No other words for it and no explanation. They are just a bad team with a formula that will not win them many games. Not winning games is frustrating, but it's on another level when the main issues of last year are prevalent again. Defense cannot stop the run and the offense cannot run the ball. Should we be surprised? No. On paper, the talent has decreased from last year, and yet they expect to fix those issues all while being better than the previous year. They definitely can get better, but it should not be shocking to anyone that they are struggling with less right now. And the blame 100% should go toward the front office, who seem to be only making excuses and no accountability. A trait I hope does not pass down to the team, a team that is going through growing pains. Offensively, the best description I have for them is you know when you watch someone do something extremely difficult, yet they are so good at it, they make it look easy? Like Steph Curry shooting a three, Michael Phelps swimming, Sean White on a snowboard. Well, the offense is the exact opposite of that. It looks so damn hard for them just to gain a first down. It's stressful to watch and it's not efficient. And the kicker is the opposing offenses look like they can just walk right into the end zone. It's mind-boggling. I struggle just thinking of what the strengths of this team is other than the kicker. Seriously, do I have the most confidence in the passing game? I don't know. The running game? Hell no. Defensively, is it the secondary, the pass rush that only works on the third and long? It's definitely not the run defense. So I guess it's just Brandon Aubrey, and that is just a perfect example of the state of the Cowboys right now. They are still finding their identity and their strengths. I just wish it didn't look as bad with almost a helpless state to it. Hopefully, it will promote growth, building off one trait that they do have that you cannot coach. They got heart. How they ended that game was a promising sight, showcasing what this team is made of. Battling back to even have a chance to win that game is a great sign and a trait to have in a football team. And is one that can help elevate them if they can get these problems fixed. Those problems, though, overshadow that trait right now. They look wheat thin thin, depending on many young late round draft picks and the growing pains are real. Again, I hope they are growing because if not, it's going to be a long year. Personally, I'm optimistic about it, but I don't blame anyone being pessimistic. It's hard to believe in this team when year after year problems arise during the season that stick to the team haunting them every now and then until eventually overwhelming them later in the year. Many problems are popping up right now in an alarming fashion with a roster that feels depleted. So yes, I don't blame anyone for being pessimistic. The foundation players are going to have to step up and cannot check out when getting hit in the mouth. CD had one of his worst games as a cowboy. To me, it looked like his emotions overwhelmed him, affecting his play on the field. He had a devastating fumble in the beginning that ended up leading to a couple drops in the game. It got so bad that they practically benched him on the touchdown to Terp. Was it the right decision? Probably, but that cannot happen. The number one receiver on the team getting taken out on a crucial play cannot happen. I can understand CD's frustration, knowing his expectations, wanting to fulfill the contract, all of that. I also get it could be frustrating not getting thrown the ball when you think you're open and can make a difference. But at the end of the day, it's part of the job description of the receiver. They are in tandem with the QB, the play callers, the nine other players on the field and also how the defense is playing against them. There are so many variables to a receiver's success that it's just inevitable that they don't get those targets. But that just makes those targets that they do get even more important. The Cowboys can't afford CD to check out. They can't. It is a problem everyone involved needs to fix. CD is vital to the offense and needs to get the ball, but he can't check out when it isn't going well, which it hasn't lately. Him and Dak's connection has been struggling dating back to the playoff game. Blame falls on everyone involved. It falls on Dak and CD and also Jerry Jones. You cannot knock players for trying to get what they deserve. It's a business both 
ways. CD had a number for the whole time, yet the deal was dragged all through training camp and we are seeing the fruition of that decision. I got confidence that they will figure it out, but it's just another perfect example of the Cowboys being in growing pains. How long it will last remains to be seen. What I know is that it's got to start leading to some growth and eventually lead to consistent football on both sides of the field. Because right now, Brandon Aubrey seems to be the only consistent piece to this team. Knock on wood, but time and time again, he has showed up and did his job with elite focus. Something the team as a whole needs to tap into. Something that a quick turnaround can help find. I don't want to make this next game bigger than it seems because in reality, losing it would not end the season. However, I don't know if they can withstand a loss from the Giants. Three losses in a row would be brutal and put them right at the bottom of the NFC East. It would strain the leadership council to the max and it's something I do not want to see. Will we is definitely a possibility. Either way, win or lose, I'll still be here on the wagon. Won't jump off for better or for worse. Thanks for watching and let me know your opinions on the state of this team. Peace.